coming up with a memorable melody is key to writing a decent song, yet this part of the process is often the hardest hurdle to overcome. Melodies can be elusive creatures. Sometimes they appear fully formed when you least expect it, other times you can be staring at a blank screen for hours with no useful ideas forthcoming. If you ever suffered from this, the musical equivalent of a writer's block, you'll be glad to know that there are a few useful tricks you can employ to unstick things. We're going to demonstrate a couple of ideas that might get the creative juices flowing enough to get a fresh new project off the ground. Whether it's a vocal or instrumental melody you're trying to create, following the tips in this video can help break the deadlock and start to form an idea that could turn into your next great song. A typical scenario is where you might find yourself with a chord progression you like the sound of, but need to come up with a melody to fit over the top. Here's one we prepared earlier. When fitting a melody to an existing progression like this one, there are certain notes that you know are going to work, but what are they? The notes we know are going to work are the ones from the parent scale of the key our progression is in. So our first job is to work out the key of the song. Using our DAWs chord analyzer, we know our synth part is playing a four chord progression made up of the following chords. F7 sus2 G7 sus4 A flat major 7 and E flat major 7. Listening to the progression, when we hit that fourth E flat major 7 chord, we get the feeling of having arrived home. If we stayed on that chord, our ears would be pretty happy. So let's assume that E flat is the root note or tonic of the key, and because the tonic E flat major 7 chord is technically a major chord, we'll assume we're in the key of E flat major. We can test this out by playing the notes of the E flat major scale E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, and E flat over our chords. And it works. So now we know that we can safely use the notes of this scale as a palette for creating a melody that'll work with this progression. So let's get on and start sketching some melody ideas. With a palette of seven different notes to choose from, the possibilities are endless. So let's start simple. Pick one note from the scale. Let's go for F. It's the second note or degree of the scale, one up from the tonic E flat. If we just stick to this note, it automatically introduces an element of tension, as our ears want it to resolve back down to the E flat. Holding single notes is not that interesting though, so let's start adding some rhythmic elements, breaking the long notes up into shorter ones. In this first example, we've just played the rhythm in from a keyboard, still sticking to one note, F, but just feeling where the notes might fall nicely against the beat. Now we have a rhythm, we can start playing around with the note pitches. Still keeping things simple, we'll stick to a three note limit for now, using only the scale tones either side of our F note. 
So that's E flat and G. To give the part a more finished off sound, we've made the last long F note resolve to a tonic E flat note. For a catchy chorus idea, let's try a different angle. We'll start by filling the first bar with eighth notes, starting with the fifth, B flat, dropping to a major third, G, and then to the tonic E flat by way of the second, F. This progression down the major scale to the tonic, missing out the fourth degree, A flat, establishes a major feel, ideal for a chorus. Next, we lose the first B flat note to give a sense of rhythmic space, then extend into bar two with a finishing two note flourish that ends on a long F note. This works both with the underlying G7 sus4 chord and creates the necessary tension required for our next step, a repetition with resolution. Repetition with resolution is a handy melodic device where a phrase or series of notes that doesn't resolve to the tonic, in other words, what we created in the previous step, is repeated. Then the repeat is resolved to the tonic. So we copy our phrase, paste it into the next two bars, and then drop that last F note down to E flat to resolve. Now we have a four bar melody that uses a form of call and response between two phrases to create and resolve tension. Let's prolong that tension by using a technique known as the overshoot. This is where you delay hitting the tonic by overshooting it and landing on a different note, C in this case, before finally resolving a beat later. For a final tip, try deriving your melody notes from the uppermost notes in your chord progression. Duplicate the chord track, eliminate the unwanted lower notes, then play around with what's left. This super simple yet hooky example has been derived from the upper notes of our chords. <laughs>